Hello everybody, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again for another Hot Toys Discuss. I'm here with my buddy Benjamin, and on today's episode we are going to talk about the Hot Toys Deadpool that uh, just recently went up on pre-order. Alright Benjamin, I gotta tell you, I'm actually pretty impressed with the Hot Toys Deadpool. Looked at the photos, uh, looked at the Limited accessories, but nevertheless, so I am actually pretty impressed. What do you think? Totally impressed. Um, I'm extremely excited to see something different from Hot Toys to come out. Um, I think that it's a, a must-have for any kind of Deadpool fan whatsoever, especially that this is going to be a figure that there's really not going to be a lot of Deadpool movie figures. It's a radar movie. You're not going to find, you know, a bunch of kids' toys, at, you know, anywhere. This is pretty much going to be a very limited type of figure that you're going to find for a movie. And based on the footage we've seen from, from the trailers, it's a pretty accurate representation of Deadpool. Gory, mm -hmm. sexual, violent. It's a hard R. Absolutely. Absolutely. So uh, I personally have not pre-ordered the figure yet, only because my pre-order list is pretty saturated right now. <laughs> it, it, it is. Bad, right? it, it, it really is. But... Uh, I will tell you though, when I when I do and when I do go ahead and see the film, uh, if the film is as great as it's you know it's as it's coming out to be, uh, one hundred percent, this Deadpool will definitely join my collection. I think the film's going to be great. Uh, anybody who loves Deadpool is going to go see the movie, regardless. Um, it being rated R is going to be something you know different from the whole PG. You know, uh, Avengers, Thor, Ant-Man, all these different types of superheroes that are basically made for children. This is basically, this is a movie for adults. Speaking of the movie, though, one quick thing I noticed is that how Colossus is, is represented in the film. It's actually a pretty accurate representation of what Colossus uh, should look like. And uh, speculation in the community uh, is leading to believe that we might actually be teased with a... Colossus Hot Toys figure, so that might be something nice to... I think it's fairly possible. I mean, it's not like they couldn't do it. The only thing that I really have an issue with is the $235 price tag. It seems like you're not really getting a lot for your money, no bang for the buck. Um, in comparison to the Sideshow piece, you know, um, Sideshow made the comic book version of Deadpool, and that one comes with two head sculpts if you get the exclusive, which is on wait list. That one comes with Headpool, Deadpool's kind of sidekick. Plus, the sideshow version comes with uh, little pop-up balloons that says chimichangas or different types of um, phrases from the comic book itself. Plus, he comes with a plethora of uh, accessories. Now, the Hot Toys Deadpool does not come with the extra head sculpt, and in in this situ in most situations, when I expect an extra head sculpt and it's not being toted, I would pretty much be mad. But in in reality, if if this Hot Toys Deadpool did come with a Ryan Reynolds uh, head, I probably wouldn't pose with it anyway. So, uh, in this situation, it does not bother he me. He looks because... like a burnt up avocado that nobody wants to have sex <laughs> with. So, I think that's pretty basic. You yeah. Know, you know, I don't think that anybody's going to use the Ryan Reynolds head sculpt anyways. No. But it would have been nice. Either way, I just feel like, you know, at, the, at that price, you get two katanas, two shurikens, two guns, a bunch of facial expressions, and some hands with a dynamic stand. Overall, it's acceptable, but there's really nothing that's a bonus I don't really look at. Now, uh, to, to, to be fair though, the Hot Toys Deadpool is retailing in the U.S. for $235, and the Sideshow exclusive is retailing for $230. $230, so it's a $5 difference. So, right, uh, but if you get the exclusive, you do get the head pool okay. sculpt. Plus, it comes with an extra sculpt on top of that with the Sideshow. So, just the regular version of Deadpool comes with two head sculpts. Uh, he has a gigantic hand cannon, um, some guns, you know, ninja stars, katanas, hands, and uh, a stand. So. And this is for the sideshow version? This is the sideshow version. Okay. Comes with, so. And the Hot Toys version of Deadpool, I guess what's unique about it is the interchangeable eyes, which is actually pretty cool. Something I actually totally like that. never seen before. I've never seen that before. R&D at its best. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And it, I guess it depends on how you use the eyes, but um, it definitely will give you a wide range of uh, expressions. So, so expressions. I actually like that. I yeah. actually, I actually do. So um, that being said, like I said, it's this figure will probably or may end up in my personal collection based on the success of the movie and how much I like it. And remember, 
uh, if, if, you, if you've been watching this, to me it's an emotional connection. I'm not going out just grabbing every figure out right now. It, I need to. <laughs> there's so no, many. There's just too many. There's, there's so just many. really, really the, the, too uh, many. We're in the 300s. I think it's yeah. like 330 or 340. I mean, uh, yeah. we're getting up there. So, I mean, yeah. there's just so many figures to choose from. I think Deadpool is something unique. And it's something that you, you're just going to have to have if you're a Marvel fan, if you're a Deadpool fan, if you're a comic mm -hmm. fan. It's going to be, I think this movie is going to, it's going to be a hit. I just don't really know if it's going to, if it's going to make a, a lot of money because it is a rated R type movie. Are we going to address the haters as far as which Deadpool is better as far as Sideshow and Hot Toys? Okay, well, I would probably say I like the comic book version of Deadpool, so I would go with Sideshow. Um, but I haven't seen the movie, so that's kind of like if I saw the movie and the movie was just... You know, I, I'm drooling at the mouth because this Deadpool is so amazing. The movie just makes me want to buy the figure. I feel like it's just going to be, if the movie is great, I'm going to get the figure. If the movie sucks, well, then I have the Sideshow. Okay. And also clear up that you technically cannot compare the Sideshow Deadpool with the no. Hot Toys. It's not fair because we have the comic book version of Deadpool and then we have the movie representation of Deadpool. Yeah, we've seen this a lot in threads and online with comments that people keep on comparing the Sideshow version of Deadpool to the movie version and it's a comic book representation from Sideshow mm -hmm. and a movie representation. So like you said, yeah. no comparison. Yeah. I mean, it's like, you know, apples and oranges. So um, that being said, are you? So it's really based on the film. If we like the film, we're going to add it to our collection then. Exactly. Right. I think that you have two great versions to choose from. Um, it's a no-brainer if you love Deadpool, and it's exciting. It's an exciting figure to get, and it's really exciting to go ahead and and see you know the movie come out and have these these great figures to go ahead and choose from, for sure. All right. Guys. Um, Thanks for watching. Leave your <laughs> comments below. Like, subscribe. Let me know on what your thoughts are. If you're gonna wait for the film to come out so that and so that you can add Deadpool, or you are nah, gonna buy it. Forget about it. Or you simply may not even like this version and just be or you're <laughs> you're just content with the sideshow version of Deadpool. So. You're gonna buy the movie version. You know what? Buy both of them. Okay. Thanks, guys. Dinner be two here. Benjamin. Thanks for watching. <laughs>